the suffix candidate is primarily uh, uh, an, an, uh, formality. 35 people were chosen to serve as space shuttle astronauts, as scientists, or pilots, and we entered a two-year training program, which at the end of the two-year, the official the, the, uh, title candidate will be moved. It is a means for one to uh, discontinue the program if he or she desires, or let's say be discontinued if you, he or she so desire. But in fact, 35 people will be space shuttle candidates. That's more of a formality than any other significance. Okay, well, given the desire and motivation to uh, be involved in space exploration and an interest in that area, a couple of years ago, NASA began to canvass the country for space shuttle astronauts. And uh, I saw one of these, uh, saw that they were looking for scientists who did not necessarily have military backgrounds. And I fitted all the qualifications. I made my application along with 8,000 other people and uh, went through the various screening processes and came out in, in decent shape. How significant is it that you are a black scientist going into the NASA program? From a historical point of view, I'd say that has lots of significance in that it's the first time or it has not been uh, a part of the NASA program in the past. It has significance in the point of view that it gives black people, uh, it adds a touch of pride that we are moving into other areas and moving up into more uh, attractive and areas where we can make broader impact. However, from an operational point of view, it has zero significance because uh, when it's time to fly a multi-billion dollar spacecraft, NASA will not put a dummy at the controls, regardless of what color he is, it's a qualification that matters. And when it's time to function in the space capacity inside in space, then uh, what color you are, what sex you are, has nothing to do with anything. So operationally, it has no significance. Where are you in training? Right now, I've undergone and completed most of the basic training, course work, survival trainings, tra basic space sciences, basic fundamental knowledge that one needs to know in space training. Right now, myself and other astronaut trainees are participate are working on technical assignments which involve various aspects of the shuttle. Our main objective is to get the f shuttle flying as soon as possible. We have different assignments. One person may be involved in space shuttle avionics. Another person may be involved in design. And we spread the work out among the numerous people. The shuttle goes up. <laughs> I estimate them maybe another couple of years or so. We have, an, have another year of the basic two years training, one year of specialized training, and uh, I get mission assignments. Well, no question about it, some of that interest has been revitalized even before the shuttle gets off the ground. And uh, this is a whole new era. It will not have the, the glamour and the magic that the Apollo did because of the uniqueness of it. However, the shuttle is going to be so far-reaching, it's going to affect us in so many different ways until one cannot help but be interested and at least curious as to what's going on. The difference in Apollo, Gemini, Mercury of the past and shuttle of the present is that those explorational flights were exploratory. The shuttle is more of a practical and functional type of space mission where on the shuttle will be, will, will be involved in uh, the deployment and retrieval of practical satellites that will have direct benefits in the way of Earth observation. There will be research going on in the space lab and that will benefit us in the way of medical communications and uh, just a whole new variety of goods. So this is more practically oriented for the good of people around the world. And it, again, that's another point, it has international participation in space shuttle flight.